Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Lay. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to find the fee factor. That is what determines your safety factor in reinforced concrete beam design. We're gonna talk about the fee factor today. That's one of the safety factors. In the past, ACI used to control the amount of rho. That's AS over BD. Guess what, they still control you. They just control you in a different way. Currently, the current ACI code instead looks at the amount of strain in the steel and see how close it is to yield. And this is a really good idea because we're getting closer at telling people what we want, which is we want ductility. We want our steel to yield. Let's talk about some major points on the stress strain diagram. So the point where the, where the steel just, just begins to yield, that's when it goes from linear to starting to yield. Okay, That value, when that very first happens, is at a strain of 0 0 0.002, 0 0.002. And if you forgot that, you can always take 60 divided by 29,000 KSI and you will get 0 0.002. Now the point when the strain when the strain is no longer on the yield plateau. Now people could argue where this is at, but a good estimate is about 0.01. So the same thing's going to keep strain strain hardening over here, and this point is around 0.01 strain. Um, and and this is a good thing. It's not a problem. It's not a problem for your steel to be at this amount of yield. That that's a good thing. And what ACI says is that, you know what, I want my steel to be at least be here, but I'm worried. It, 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 my concrete may be stronger, my dimensions in my beam may be off a little, and so I'm a little worried. And so instead, I'm going to pick a place in the middle here, about 0 0.005, and I'm going to say, you know what, if your strain in your steel is above 0 0.005, then your safety factor is going to be low right? Low. And if your strain is between 0 0.005 and 0 0.002, as you get closer and closer and closer and closer, your safety factor is going to go high. So it's like increasing in this zone. Okay. And if you ever get lower than that, I mean, this is kind of like the ah, scary zone. This is when the safety factor is kind of the highest. So just to go over this again, if my strain is greater than 0 0.005, this is encouraged, this is a good thing, ACI likes this, so they give you a lower safety factor. If it's between 0 0.002 and 0 0.005, we call this the transition zone, okay, and, say, and ACI is going to slowly raise the safety factor because they want ductility. And this is kind of explained graphically here, right, here. So here's the fee factor or your safety factor. Here is the strain in your steel. Another way to think of this is the ratio of your C to your D. Okay, And if your strain in your steel is at least 0 0.005 or higher, what's your safety factor? It's high. That's good. As you're in this transition zone between 0 0.002 and 0 0.005, okay, your safety factor gets lower and lower and lower, and, and because it's on the capacity side, then this is an increase in safety factor. So this is higher safety factor, this is lower safety factor, and this is this transition zone in between. If you don't like graphs, if you like equations, you can use an equation over here. When your strain in your steel is less than 0 0.002, you'll use a fee factor of 0.65. If your strain in your steel is greater than 0 0.005, you'll use a fee factor of 0 0.90. And this is where you want to be. This is where you want to be. And then in between, you're going to use this equation. All this equation is, is this line. There is the slope, right? Or some version of the slope. This is just an equation for that line. And this safety factor is applied to the flexure equation ASFY times D minus A over two, the most important equation in flexural design. And this safety factor phi goes right here. So it decreases your capacity. So the higher the safety factors in numerical value, 
it means it's actually not having as big an impact on your capacity. And the lower your fee factor is in numerical value, the bigger impact it's having on your capacity. Because remember, it's less than one. Okay, so it's reducing this. Unfortunately, this means that we don't know our safety factor in our designs until we're done. That's okay, though. We're going to assume a fee of 0.90, and then we'll just check it by using this. This is the secret. This is the secret to finding out what your strain in your steel is. It's just D minus C divided by C, and this value is 0.003, and this will become much more apparent when we work an example problem. But we're going to do something else first. So ACI is going to purposely have the feed factor decrease so your, so your design capacity is actually constant for reinforced concrete beams. That's how they penalize you. This means that you can add more and more steel and it doesn't matter. I'll say that again. If you have an over-reinforced beam, you can keep adding steel to that beam and your capacity of your cross-section will not increase. What? Here. Here is what I'm talking about in a table. If we take a typical beam that's 14 inches by 22 inches with a D of 19 and a half inches, F prime C is 4,000 uh, PSI, FY is 60 KSI. This is uh, the answer to for, um, or the capacity versus the amount of steel for a number of different rows, okay? which means leads to a number of different area of steels. And you would think that as your steel was going up, you would think your capacity would go up, right? Look what they did, those sneaky people. After you hit a point about here, about here, about a row of 0.0181, remember it's not about the row, it's about the strain in the steel. A, 0.005, that's that magic number I was telling you about. This is ACI wants you to be here. They want this. This is good. This is bad. So how do they penalize you for being bad? How do they penalize you for be making structures that aren't ductile? Notice, look at our capacities. They're not going up. I mean, look, we're like adding steel like crazy. Look how much steel we're adding. And the capacities are not going up. You know, your calculated capacity goes up, but once you put the fee factor on it, once you put the safety factor on it, as this goes up, this is going down. They offset each other and you don't get much capacity. Here's the same thing graphically. Here is the strength. Here is this reinforcement ratio. This is like kind of the amount of steel you add. This is increasing amount of area of steel. This at the top is what you would calculate the moment capacity to be, but this is what ACI allows you to use for design. This is what they cap you at. They said you can't take any more credit than this. And we're showing the amount of strains. And this is this magical amount of strain. This is where they don't want you to go any higher than this. They want you to stay lower than this. And you should not shoot or try to be here. You shouldn't, okay? You just need to be away from it and move ahead. Life isn't about optimizing. At least design life is not about optimizing to be at the maximum strength. Designing is about speed because speed is about money in the design world. We'll talk more about that coming up. Thanks. Please, if you like my videos, subscribe to them like them, tell other people about them, and leave me a comment. Take care. Bye-bye.